technically it's a 50 man roster because we never account for the kicker, punter, long snap. Right, because they're yeah. always there. Well, Reed Ferguson's going to make this team. Yes, of he course. is. Well, Congratulations Reed. once again, Reed. Yeah, on your Science contract extension. extension. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, uh, no offense, it didn't work out too good for the last guy, long snapper, who signed a contract extension because you kind of took his job. Yeah. You did take his job. The dude could take an apple off a of cone at 17 uh. yards. <laughs> he's, a, he's a beast. <laughs>
Yeah. They're like, listen, you need a defensive tackle. This guy's a horse. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I see him there. But I just love Petco as like a sneaky kind of weasel yeah. his way in. There. Yeah, maybe he makes a roster. He's got he's only got two years of NFL experience. So yeah, you know it's there's maybe he makes it. But and again, being at six one and not at six four, you know, kind of puts him in a little bit of a different well, spot. He's six one, three hundred pounds. If he was six four, he wouldn't have been on the Bills roster. He would have got signed by somebody else. Oh, okay. That's all I'm saying. Okay. No, you don't think so? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Linebacker. Um, so there's a lot. The Bills carried six last year. So it was like they had line changes because yeah. they had they had they had uh, Zoe Edmonds and Milano. Yep. And then they had Pitts, no Safford, Safford, and um, Humber. <laughs> no, they didn't start the season yes, with they did. Humber. Yes, they did. No, yes. I'm calling. I'm gonna call him. Give me this. I'm where's my call. Where's Here's my phone? phone. The linebacker, Dion Lacy. Ah, uh, Dion Lacy, Ramon, Ramon Humber, Humber, and Julian Sanford. Yeah, so it wasn't Pitts. No, it wasn't Pitts. Pitts no, was Pitts a, was a with corner. corner. That's what I was re- remembering. But uh, Humber was there. Yeah, Humber made this 53 last yeah, year. Yeah, sure did. Sure did. Why did they draft Joseph again? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. how many linebackers are there's a lot you said right there's a ton so again we're just gonna look at the scope of linebackers across the gamut and then just look at the best sex right okay so yeah Lorenzo Alexander Maurice Alexander Tremaine Edmonds <gasps> Eli Harrell Daryl Johnston Jr. Uh, Joshon or Boshan Joseph Dion Lacey Matt Milano uh, Julian Stanford and Corey Thompson are Good your Lord. linebackers right now there's a ton. Je- we talked about the guard position being a bloodbath. I just want to point out that Lorenzo Alexander is seven years older than the next oldest linebacker on this roster. The oldest can, can, linebacker can, is Maurice Alexander at 28, and Deion Lacy, who's also 28. I don't think people realize how old Deion Lacy is. I know, because he's just he's just oh, he's hovering around. Yeah. Now we talk about hybrids all the time. Mm-hmm. And Lorenzo is kind of like in a category by himself. Right. Because he's not a defensive tackle. He's not a defensive end. Right. You talk about Maurice Alexander. He's going to be your contributor as a linebacker or a special team. Right. Voshin uh, Joseph is going to be that type of player. Sanford plays on special teams. Uh, or Stanford plays on special teams. So you talk about a lot, a lot of those guys you mentioned – you gotta have two special team linebackers. Period. The end. Deion Lacy played special teams. Yeah. Stamp, Stafford played special teams. You gotta have two special teams linebackers. I know you have a lot of them now, but like the depth that they have at linebacker, it's gonna be a bloodbath to make the team. Yeah. Oh, you I know agree. Edmonds is in. How many did they carry? You carried six. Uh-huh. So you got Edmonds, Milano, and Alexander. But yeah, I mean, Alexander's like the center guard from like he's like yeah, long. he's like a swing. He's like the yeah. long of the defense. well because he can still play special teams. Exactly, and he, he welcomes that. Yeah, you know what I mean. So then you got he. Okay, so there's your three. Mm-hmm. Or, really, or two in a in a hybrid if you want to. Just I leave really it. see the Bills, and maybe I'm just being a conspiracy theorist here. I really see the Bills playing the practice squad game. I mean, a conspiracy theorist who have thought. Um, so, the, the here's what I mean when I say the practice squad game. So, what you do is what? You're right. Is it about ten guys? Yeah. Eight of them are gonna be defensive. Guys. Oh, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> what I think happens, right, is in the preseason games, yes. you're not gonna see a lot of Voshan Joseph, right? Uh, in was. preseason games, you're not gonna see a lot of David Sills. In preseason, the guys that they're looking to slide through. You're not going to see a lot of them in practice squad or in the in the preseason games, and the reason you're not going to see a lot of them is because they have too many guys for this roster that could make the roster. So the best thing to do is you keep a few of them inactive during preseason games, and you just say, "Oh, no film. You want to sign them to your active roster? You go right ahead." But there's no film on these guys. You give as little film as possible. And Voshan Joseph fits that category for me because he's mm-hmm. going to be a pass rush specialist. The only way he makes the roster is if Lorenzo Alexander gets hurt. So otherwise, you put a you put a pick on him. You you put a pick on him. So the only way in order to retain him is to waive him and put him on the practice squad. But you're not going to put a ton of film for other teams to look at and say, oh yeah, boy, the Bills really did have something in this fifth rounder. Let's bring him in as a pass rush specialist. Like it's you have to be careful when it comes to defense. You have to be very very careful because 
the role players are going to get picked off your squad in a second. Mm -hmm. Because you don't carry many of them on your team, and when a team loses one, their practice squads normally have a few of them. And so I really feel the Bills are going are gonna to hold off on putting some of these guys on the field and giving them a ton of tape before um, they put them on their practice squad. Now, because they drafted him, could they showcase him to trade him for a pick? I mean, I suppose, but I are you really going to be trading a guy four games into his career? No, I'm just saying. I mean, is that a possibility? The fact that you did draft him, you have the option to play him, and if he shows out well, but you don't feel like he's a fit for your team, mm -hmm. hey, we're not going to cut this guy. You know, he's going to be a contributor, but we're thinking, hey, do you want to you want to strike a deal here? You could use him. I mean, injuries happen, but a lot of times you see guys who are a little bit more weathered than somebody you just drafted, yes. right? So, like, you might see Maurice Alexander is a perfect player that, you know, come week four of the preseason, somebody loses somebody at the end of the preseason, and they're looking at their linebacker room going, man, I'm not sure we're going to keep any of these guys. That's, <laughs> that's the trade you make, right? Mm -hmm. it's, we've seen the Bills do those trades before, yeah. right? That's how we got Thad Lewis. We traded Thad Lewis for uh, a linebacker. A linebacker. You know? the Patriots picked up. Well, linebacker, we were going to cut anyway. I know, but the, 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 the points still I, remain. I, yeah, I know, I know, I know. So, <laughs> the Bills on the linebacker group are going to have to be sneaky. Um, but I don't think you keep Stanford. I don't mm. think you keep Corey Thompson. Mm. I don't. Deion Lacey might make the team. Voshan Joseph might make the team. I'm not thinking you're keeping Daryl Johnson. I'm not thinking you're keeping Eli Harold. Harold, does he fit that hybrid role of an outside back or DN, though? Uh, I mean, he can. Because well, I'm just saying, if, if you're looking at outside linebacker, DN, if you're looking at Alexander as the hybrid for the outside linebacker defensive tackle, which is so rare, right? then if you're going to be out two defensive ends next year, uh -huh. why not give him some rotation? That's not a bad point, actually. Yeah, that's not a bad point, which is why I like the Joseph pick. Right? Yes. That's yes. why, because it get, it get, it Put brings some beef on edge kid, pressure. Know. Yeah, it brings you somebody who brings in edge pressure. And Harold's not a small guy. I mean, he's no. like, what, 6'3", 240? So that's big enough. It, that's big it's, enough. It's, it's big enough for Hughes' side. It's right. not big enough for Lawson's side. Right. you got to be 280, 290 to be on Lawson's yeah, side. Yeah, oh, no, I agree with you. I agree with you. Um, so linebacker, if we had to knock down to six, what are you taking? Oh, God. I'll go first if it makes your life a little easier. Uh, so I'm thinking Lorenzo Alexander, Maurice Alexander, I think is going to make this team. Yes. Um, Tremaine Edmonds, obviously. Yeah. Uh, Dion Lacey, Matt Milano, um, and then uh, I'm. I don't think Boshan Joseph makes it. Eli Harold might. You make a good point about you, Eli Harold. Um. Yeah, I'm going to go with Eli Harold because you need a little bit more experience at that position. I am going to say that for the for the other episode we did, if you're going to sacrifice a running back position of a guy that has to play special teams, I think you carry seven linebackers. Ooh, okay. And the only one I like your I like your list, but man, uh, Joseph and you said Joseph. Uh, I did not. Okay. No, I'm not keeping Joseph. Joseph or um, I know you don't like him, but Stanford. Mm -hmm. It's 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 a much different animal to have Edmonds in there and then to give him a spell by putting just Milano mm -hmm. in the middle. And it, but then who spells Milano? Right. You know what I mean? It's better just to put a guy in there who that's his central focus is to play middle linebacker. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're spelling Edmonds or or whatever happened. You got a guy that's middle linebacker. Now, if Milano, which he could do, is He's the will linebacker the entire week. They're going over the game plan. Edmonds gets hurt. Mm -hmm. Now he has to switch up everything that he was doing, yeah. even though he may know the whole scope of the defense. It's different. He's got to play yeah. in the middle now, and he's got to try to adjust really quick. So rather than do that, you have a guy that just studies the middle linebacker the whole, yeah, whole week. He was dreadful last year. Or you just go nickel, and you put Milano in there, and you, put, um, you drop Poyer down right. and put another safety in. But right. the point is this. I think – you have to go in there with two. It's like going into a game only one center. Yeah. I mean, even okay. though Long's your swing guy, you still need him in that respect. So, what the heck? It's a cobra chicken. 
You tell me the Canadian geese aren't the most vile creatures on this. He's earth. about to be rotisserie chicken. <laughs> but I, I like that. I, I like the man Maurice. So sneaking in there, man. Yeah. Maurice Alexander just sneak. It's I like Harold. I, I was questioning the Harold signing, but then I'm like, you know what? That, that he could play down. He could play his hand in the dirt a little bit if they put a little meat on him. All right, here's hold on before we go on to the cornerbacks. This is honor system, right? Honor system for hashtag nation in the comments section. This you cannot Google this. You have to just know this. Do not Google it. If anybody can put in the comments section the right answer to this question, no Google honor system. That Mario and I will send you an autographed picture of the two of us that we don't have. We'll autograph one. I don't know. We'll take one. It's a yeah. We'll send an autograph picture. It'll be fun. No one's going to get it right, so it doesn't matter. Oh! Um, nobody's going to get this right. What college did Julian Stanford go to? What college did he go to? You don't know this. Yeah, I do. Well, because you looked at the roster. <laughs> it hit us in the comments section. If you get it right, we'll get in touch with you. We'll I knew we'll it! You something. We'll send you something. I did know it. <laughs> okay. Did you really? Yeah. I scrolled. I was like, where the? Where is that place? <laughs> All right, cornerback. Um, so, Bills last year kept uh, five corners. Ready? Yep. I go got them. Okay. You sure? Yep, go ahead. Okay. The Johnsons. Yep. Kevin and Teron. Yep. I'm not going in order, obviously. Yeah, that's fine. White. Yep. Wallace. Yep. Who's the last one? Mm, I got to look again. <laughs> So you got White Wallace, the Johnsons, and oh boy, Gaines. Yep, that's exactly my five. <laughs> that's like hundred percent. So the whole time you're on the fence, I was like, you forget about EJ Gaines. I did. Yeah, but you got Ryan Lewis also there. Mm -hmm. Practice squad eligibility. Uh, he does. Two years of service. Uh, forgot about Jaquan Johnson. Oh well, Jaquan Johnson. I guess safety. Exactly is safety. Uh, Lafayette Pitts, uh, four year service. Yeah. He was on the roster last year he was. at the start. Yep. It was White. <laughs> last year started September 1st now, 2018. Uh, yeah. It was White. Mm -hmm. It was G Philip Gaines. Mm -hmm. It was Vontae Davis. Yep. Lafayette Pitts and Teron Johnson. Don't you think it's funny? I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I think it's even funnier that uh, didn't e did EJ Gaines change his number again? Why? Because someone got 28. No, he's got 28 on the roster right oh, he now. Does? But I think he, I think he elected to change his number because he was 28 when he was here, and then they signed Philip Gaines, and he took 28. So I think it's just he didn't want a dead man's jersey because even though he's getting oh, he his changed. own jersey back, I feel like he put into Wallace change changed his. Number. Was it maybe it was Wallace that I'm thinking of? Wallace definitely changed his because he was 47. I think he's something else right now. Okay. Yeah, well, and we'll, we'll hear you guys. I feel like EJ Gaines put section. in to change his number. It didn't work too good the first time, so why go back? It didn't work for the guy that came after him either, so I go back for round three, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, I think people are going to forget about Kevin Johnson. Kevin Johnson's a hell of a football player. Just, just injury hurt. problems. Yeah, yeah he just yeah. had injury problems. The Bills are willing to take a gamble on a guy like that because it's the, the most intriguing thing that I love about Kevin Johnson is that you don't put him in those scenarios where he's going to be taken out of pulling guard. Yeah. So you don't you don't risk him getting hurt. What do you do if you have him on the field in a nickel situation? What you could do is you could you could have him in the slot, shift him back to safety, and maybe put Poyer down if you think it's going to be a running down. Mm -hmm. Poyer's more physical anyway. Well, and this team has proved that you can turn and burn quarterbacks pretty easy yeah you know so I, I don't think they're super concerned about that but though that five compared to last year's five right yeah scary totally different finally four safeties last year they had Hayden Poyer um, Neil mm. and Bush were the four that they went into the right position. Uh, currently on the roster you have Bush Hyde Jaquan Johnson Dean Marlowe Siri Neal and Jordan Poyer. I think you take four out of those again. Um, but they they re-signed Neil, though. Right. So I think that's a telling sign. Now, a lot of these things that we've been going over, this one and the offense, is that they re-signed a guy and then drafted a guy that could be his replacement. Right. So what do they do with their insurance policy? Sure. We know that they like guys that they draft over guys that they sign. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, just because, like, Siren Neal, Dean Marlowe, 
those guys, and, I mean, Raphael Bush, I, you have no allegiance to those guys, in my opinion. No, you don't. I mean, you you cut you cut them all before last season anyway. They didn't make the last year's roster. Marlo and Sierra Neal were both released. Yeah. I really did think Sierra Neal was going to make the roster. I liked, I liked, I liked him. It was a surprise that he got that he got released, but they swung him to the practice squad. They're not going to be able to do that again. I still, I still like my boy. Dean Marlowe. Dean Marlowe. Come on now. Such Come a cool name, too. That's a cool name. Dean, um, Dean no, because I, I love the fact is you gotta respect <laughs> it. And this is this is maybe a manifestation of the Buffalo blue collar ethic and mm. it work I think. The guy was cut. Yep. He was put on the practice squad. Uh, I can't remember if it was Hyde or Poirier that was hurt. I can So Marlowe comes in during the Titans game. Mm. This guy is what's his height and weight? Marlowe? Yeah, what's Marlowe? 6'1", 208. 6'1", 208. He's torpedoing himself at Derrick mm -hmm. Henry the whole game. Yep. He does not care. He's trying to take Delaney Walker's head off. Mm -hmm. He's trying to go. And you want to talk about a guy, I mean, respecting a guy that, he's. I think he's like 27? Uh, Dean Marlowe's 26. He's 26. Okay, all right. So he's younger than I thought. But he's trying to make an impact for his one moment. that he, The one shot he's given. And he just was flying around the field yeah. like a maniac. That's what I love about that. Um, so I, I tend to gravitate toward that type of a player. And uh, and then right after it, Hyde and Poirier or whatever were back. And he, he was gone. He was cut. He's back on the practice squad. No yeah. one picked him up. Right. I mean, I still I still respect the guy for that one game. I thought it was awesome. Sure. But he still has practice squad eligibility. Three years of service. Bro. He does. Three years. So of he service. doesn't. Oh, he could be a he could be. Yeah, man, I hate to see him go. But you drafted Jaquan Johnson. You got Hyden Poyer. Who's that fourth one? Is it Neil? Is it Marlowe? I, I don't think you can cut Johnson, right? No, you can't. I don't think you can cut Johnson. I think you could slide Neil back to the practice squad because you still can. Mm. I don't think you can cut Johnson. I don't think he'll make it. Again, it's, you, put him, you put him on the field a little bit in the preseason, and I, I don't think he makes I think mm. he makes somebody else's roster. So who's the fourth, Bush? I think Bush makes the team right now. Initially. Initially, yeah. And then when Jay, uh, Jay And then Quan once Johnson's really ready to take over that nickel linebacker role, then they bring Sierra Neal back up. And you cut Bush. And you cut Bush. Okay. Well, Dean will be in Tennessee next year. I know, right? 